Scholars have debated the possible effectiveness of helicopter money and several of them have argued that it cannot really have much of an effect and I think that view is mistaken because and it's, that view comes from appealing to the properties of a sort of long-term equilibrium. You look at a long-term equilibrium without helicopter money and a long-term equilibrium with helicopter money and you say, look, I've proved there cannot be any, any difference. It's a kind of, well, it's a Ricardian equivalence type of argument. It assumes that expectations and spending behavior are fully adapted to any shock that has occurred. But the call for helicopter money is not made at times when we're in a full equilibrium. It's made when the economy is far from equilibrium and when many economic agents are constrained, liquidity constrained, not by their not constrained by their lifetime resources, but by liquidity constraints. So it could include governments as well as lower income households. Models that predict little impact for helicopter money do not take account of such liquidity constraints. To the extent that helicopter money breaks a liquidity constraint for the recipients, it might therefore unleash a substantially different impact effect than these models 